we have implemented the strictest measures in all of North America. And the difficult truth is, every public health measure we have left comes with a massive cost to people and their lives. But we have never shied away from doing what's necessary. We have made the deliberate decision to temporarily enhance police officers' authority for the duration of the stay-at-home order. Moving forward, police will have the authority to require any individual who is not in a place of residence to first provide their purpose for not being at home and provide their home address. Police will also have the authority to stop a vehicle to inquire about an individual's reason for leaving their residence. And our inspectors will also be ensuring that those who absolutely must come to work are strictly following the public health measures. For our employers and employees, take note, this is your last warning. Um, I'm wondering about these new police powers to just randomly stop someone walking down the street or to pull over a car. What happens if, uh, if a person refuses to answer the police questions? So by issuing these new additional enforcement measures, it allows police officers to ask the person why they are not at their place of residence and what their place of residence is. And specifically to your question, um, if you are not willing to comply, then you are breaking the law. Uh, if and someone sees um, uh, their neighbors uh, breaking these, these new regulations um, and, and having a party in their yard, that sort of thing, should should people call police on their neighbors in terms of people calling um to snitch to inform um look we all have a personal responsibility if it means saving lives then i think we have to think about what your social responsibilities are as an individual to make sure that you don't empower other people and invite a whole bunch of individuals to your home